Hello everyone, in today's video I am going to answer to the question how can I get more FPS? What if I told you that you could get anything until 500 FPS in Stand of 2? Not just smooth gameplay, but the kind of FPS that makes your game feel unreal. More FPS will mean less delay, so that's why in this video I'm going to show you exactly how I did it step by step, so even if you are on a laptop you can get the same results. I'll also explain the mistakes that will completely ruin your FPS if you do them wrong, how to avoid them and also how to set up the emulators so the FPS don't bug out and don't show because you are risking that by skipping throughout the video. Most players think anything over 144 FPS is enough, but in fast paced shooters like Stand of 2, higher FPS means lower input delay. Your shots register faster, your aim feels snappier and movements are more responsive. I actually compared my reaction times before and after and with 500 FPS I was hitting flick shots I normally missed. Besides that I would also add that on Bluestack you feel more delay even though you play on a PC that has more FPS than a mobile, but keeping your FPS at let's say 144, 165 or even 240 would mean your PC won't work above those FPS set, which means you will get around that FPS but never higher and higher FPS will always mean less delay so no matter the FPS, monitor refresh rate, you should uncap the FPS so that your PC works harder for the FPS you need but also give you less delay by having more FPS, which I talked about previously with Bluestack having more delay than usual PC games. By the way, this emulator should have been paid by all of you because these emulators started appearing 9 to 11 months ago and were made by Chinese people and Russians. They were sold per customer 30-ish euros or even 70 to 75 depending on the specs of the emulator and they have over 2000 customers. So keep that in mind, I give you this one for free and all I trust you is to subscribe, like and hit the bell on and because you do that I won't charge anything and I will give it to everyone for free. Here is the previous gameplay before using this emulator, you can look up at my FPS, they are just so unstable and sometimes I even get frame drops on 240 unlocked. I still get under 240 mark, I get 220, 200 which is obviously going to affect me as a player because the delay on Bluestack is so different like 4.2 milliseconds which is usual for 240 feels like 8 milliseconds on Bluestack, delay which you can find only at 120 FPS not 240 and stay till the end to see gameplay with this new emulator. But firstly I will talk about the common mistakes that people make being using the wrong Bluestacks version for their computer's performance, not setting high performance in Windows power plan, the max cores and other Nvidia settings, allocating too much but usually too little RAM to the emulator and too little cores also. And of course running too many background apps but I fixed everything about what I said earlier in this video. So if you haven't optimized your PC yet that 8 minute video will give you way more stable FPS and better performance output. It's not full of crap and apps you don't need, it's just the increased performance proven tips. So don't forget to check it out after this one. Now I'm not going to go over optimizations but only the installation guide and tips to improve the performance output of the emulator with the settings inside of it and inside the stand of you app by itself because we have some there too which many of you asked me in the discord server and always missed the point firstly let's begin by downloading the bluestack emulator from the discord server which is down below once we press on this section which is packs under about me and important you will find supreme bluestack it will be seen by everyone when i will be posting this video then you press this link and you can download the supreme bluestack version if you don't have winrar or your computer search WinRAR download press on the first site and select here and download the WinRAR app so you can unzip the file now you can close this find where you put the supreme bluestack file and to extract it you need a password and the password is A's exclamation sign and press ok once you extracted it you can double click on it and here you will have four important things for keyboard delay optimizations this one you can do right now you are just copying both search command prompt in the windows bar and there we can enter them 
and if it says the operation completed successfully two times that means your keyboard has now way less delay now let's fix the hyper-v error if anyone has it when you are trying to install bluestack you can go on this site which is this one right here and you have all the tips and the tutorial made right here in order to fix hyper-v if you don't have any problem with hyper-v shouldn't even press on this one double click on taste bluestack press yes and install it once it opens you can go to settings engine scroll down until you see fps enable high frame rates and set to 165 then press save and exit once you did that you can now copy hd whatever common dll this is go to local disk c press on this view and check this box hidden items now you will see program data bluestack bgp p64 client and paste the file replace it then go to again where you have bluestack installed program files bluestack and replace the file then press continue once you did that you can exit and now let's fix the mouse delay once and for all search right here control panel go on ease of access again search for make the mouse easier to use press on it make sure you don't have anything turned on press on setup mouse keys now set the acceleration to slow you don't need any acceleration is the worst setting ever turn everything off right here press apply then press ok once you did that you can exit and go to windows devices mouse additional mouse options pointer options and disable enhanced pointer precision then press ok then exit this one now if you have a razor mouse a glorious mouse go to its manufacturer settings i have two mouse softwares because i have two mouses then go to pooling rate and select the maximum for the mouses allowed on bluestack is a thousand so select whatever you want until a thousand then press apply in the razor software i have the viper 8k hertz mouse and in the performance tab i can scroll down and i can set up to 8000 but remember bluestack only supports until a thousand hertz so don't select more when you're playing on bluestack and now you will see two new apps installed bluestack 64 and bluestack multi instance you can delete this one go into bluestack multi instance create a new instance fresh one select nogat 32-bit deprecated large virtual address this is the only version that works press on next here you can select anything we will set this one later so don't even bother then press create now let's make a shortcut for this one because from here we will open standoff 2 you can move it and name it standoff 2 now we are closing this and entering the blue stack with the standoff 2 in it but firstly before making any settings we need to install it from google play if anyone was on ios before it's the same with app store you go on google play you sign in with any google account it doesn't have to be yours once you did that you can open it and search standoff 2 then press install and wait for it to be downloaded if you want to log in easier on bluestack with facebook i suggest you can press on three dots desktop site and now you can put your infos really easily then you can make any settings you like except for the effect details and anti-aliasing and any isotrophic filtering settings which i recommend using very low or low details because emulators detest the particles and for anti-aliasing i suggest you use barely or nothing and anisotrophic filtering the same then select the target fps to 165 or 120 whatever shows up and press apply now i'm going to show you some very good settings for you to use scroll down until you see cpu i have 16 threads and 8 cores so i use the max amount of cores minus one if you have four cores use three if you have 16 cores uh, threads and eight cores uh, use just seven and for ram if you have eight gigabytes i suggest you put at least six and for that you can get this gigabyte to megabyte conversion calculator you can find it on google and for six gigabytes you should put 6144 in binary it doesn't have to be on the dot if you have 16 gigabytes i suggest you use at least 
10. If you have 32 gigabytes, I suggest you even put 16 because Bluestack is never going to use the max amount of cores or RAM that you put in, but you are going to make sure that the emulator will use the full performance of your PC. Then you can go to FPS and set 165. I will tell you why you can't set more later. Then press save and restart. Now I suggest you do this thing every single time so the 500 FPS doesn't bug even a bit open standoff to you after you opened bluestack wait for it to load and get into the menu where you see your id and when you see your id then you can go to settings engine and uncap the fps and put it to the max then press save why i do that is because you will see that now my fps are uncapped but if i didn't set when i was exiting bluestack 165 in the engine settings then my fps would be locked at 165 67 165 or something like that so each time let's say you stopped playing stand of two and you want to close the emulator you need to make sure that after exiting the match you are going into engine and downgrading the fps to 165 or less then press save and now you can exit bluestack in peace and next time you are playing do the same thing wait for it to load and get you into the id zone and then you can up the frame rate to 500 again so make sure to not forget that now let's address the safety concerns will you get banned using this emulator or using any emulator for playing stand of two the answer is no they allow it they don't ban you because you play on an emulator you are only prohibited to play on mobile tournaments that specify you cannot play on pc and now i believe that you don't have the partnership with bluestack anymore but at least using 240 fps is allowed as i have shown in the previous videos but using 500 if your pc ever touches those kind of fps might be a little trouble and might not be let me tell you something many russians uh, and chinese people have created these emulators and they still didn't got banned me neither other friends neither no one had any trouble so i guess we are permitted to use it until next time shock your limits be